Hey everybody, Cranky Stacker. I've had a busy, busy, busy week. Um, so I'm going to do a few things right here, all in one video. This is, uh, this is, I, I've been waiting for this excitedly. This is from T, the Silver Stacker. Uh, won an auction at his place the other night. And by the way, I do have a new P.O. box. So, uh, if anybody needs to uh, do some, thank you Mr. and Mrs. T for Tuli Tuli, I got hot tamales and the gummies. So, um, yeah, first things first here. All right, yeah, that's better. All right, so anyway, um, I got a new P.O. box it's on my website or on my channel. You can uh, you can mail me there, or my email is on there. Here's my COA for what I got. For one of the things I got, and then another card out of this. Thanks, Mrs. T. Mr. T, I love you, buddy. You're a, you're an awesome, awesome dude, and I think you've got just the right kind of misses to make it a perfect pair of Mr. and Mrs. T. So what I got from them is just I, I'm I absolutely loving, loving what I got. Um, you know, I like my Libertads, and the other night, uh, um, Stack the South did a great video on Libertads, and uh, I think he had a lot of information on mintages and, and, uh, and designs and things like that. Um, he, he likes his, his Libertads as well, so I'm going to do a little, uh, a little short video on what I've got and kind of show him what I've got as well. But this is the uh, this is the 1980 Onza. This is Sterling. This is 925. But look at that. That's the old style press. And when he uh, T's done these on a few of his auctions, and I'm mean, like, man, I gotta have one of those. I gotta have one of those. And I had to wait which is very, very difficult for me sometimes. So I do have that now. I got a five pesos. This is 90% and it's 0.868 troy ounce. Does that look familiar to you, uh, you guys out there? Chuck Stacks, that is not a Chinese nickel. <laughs> This is a 1947 piece, um, five pesos, like I said. And I guess the, the, the detail on these here, let's get you focused, is just phenomenal. I love these things. Mexican silver is probably my favorite. Um, right behind the cowboy rounds from... <laughs> from Scottsdale and uh, I got to have one of those 8.8 .8 bars one of these days. So this I also picked up 1984 Libertad. Um, I have the 82, 83, 84, 85 and some 2000s now and uh, then I've got some fractional that I'm going to get out and, and show everybody when I get to them. But the piece that pièce de résistance um, or as they say in Missouri, the piece of resistance is uh, my absolute favorite. I have been waiting so long to get the bid on one of these, win the auction. This is, uh, this is one of T's pours. A little YouTube insignia, 20. Not sure what the 20 is. You'll have to tell me about that, T. Explain that to me. It is a, uh, it is a smooth edge, but... This is one of the bigger ones he's done, I think. This is 2.7 ounces. 999 silver. And this is number 14. Look at the ripples in that. Yeah. Beautiful stuff, T. Thank you so very much. And thank you for uh, mailing it for uh, to the right address, <laughs> Mrs. T. Appreciate that. So that is one delivery I got this week. Next delivery I got, well, we'll do this one first. This one actually came today, and, uh, you know, I hate doing unboxings and stuff like that, but 
Um, God, I already opened this and it's still kicking my ass. But this was pretty cool. I got these for a uh, pretty good price a couple of days ago. These are the five ounce, five ounce uh, buffalo. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, these were Silvertown. I'm not, uh, I'm not too certain on that, but look at that. What a great, yeah, does it say that right there? I can't read it. Nope, says he pluribus unum. Yeah, well, let's get back to that, America. How about that? So I got these today, All right? Then, prices were pretty good, so I did a little bit more, a uh, little more buying. This was kind of just for me, but these are just cuter than heck. I, I think these are the cutest little things. I've got uh, some 10th ounce, um, I've got some 10th ounce Walking Liberties. That I think are just really cool. They maybe maybe some giveaways or some dimes or uh, some gauze or some gifts or something. You know, I like to give stuff away just because it makes me feel good and it's nice. But look at these little tenth ounce Esti bullion. Tell me that isn't neat. And I'm thinking, okay, fractional silver. Um, yeah, it's not. You know, you, you pay a premium. Look at the eagle. Pay a premium, but, you know, for like six bucks a piece for these. I'm thinking, okay, so if the, if the SHTF scenario ever does come, somebody wants to trade some gasoline or something for uh, a piece of silver, is he going to know the difference in a tenth ounce and a one ounce? Probably not. Probably not. So I got five tenth ounce. of the SD bullion rounds. I got my one and only, which I haven't had. I've, I've wanted one of most of the majors and I've never had a Kruger in, so I got a 2023 Kruger in. <laughs> I gotta be honest with y'all, I'm, I'm such a dumbass sometimes. Um, I, I could not find the date on this thing the other night i i could not find the date i'm thinking okay so i think i sent a post out or something like this does anybody know uh if they made one without a date on it um you know kind of like this date right here 2023 in eighth inch tall letters <laughs> uh, anyway i felt a little a little silly after that one but whatever then, I got Maru, and I know these aren't really highly, either one of these are really highly acclaimed as far as world coins and all that, but the prices were nice, and this is my one and only Australian Maru. This is four nines, and it is 2023. Tuli, I... I don't have any gloves anymore. I, I, I don't know what happened to them. I uh, was doing some prototypes and they uh, they just kind of disappeared. Of trying some marketing ideas. And then I got one of these. This is the new. Uh, this is the new Aztec. This is bad ass, if I do say so myself. Anonza Plata Pura, point nine 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 ag. Tezcatlipoca, Tezcatlipoca, the first sun. Um, that's different, obviously, than the other design. The only thing that I'm not real crazy about on this design here, uh, I mean, the detail is just ex exquisite, just as in all of them. But this, um, this is a reeded edge coin, and um, you can see it's kind of inset on the on the reeded edge. Um, which I wasn't really crazy about, but it sure pings nice. 
So I got one of those this week. Um, and then, let's move this back. I had to do it. I only had one tube of buffaloes. So, um, yeah, I did it. I bought a tube. It's kind of cool. It must be like Yankee and uh, Silver Dragons and all those big dogs that go in there and go, yeah, give me a tube. I've always wanted to be able to do that. So, <laughs> Uh, the students grow in Yankee, Silver Dragons. I did it in your, uh, in your voice and accent, so they, they would listen to what I was saying. Anyway, uh, yeah, I bought a, bought a whole tube of those. God, I just love that sound. So, that was my Silver Week this week. What, uh, three days, three deliveries, and, uh, then I got a little something something that I'm going to add to uh, the collection here. And I'm just going to do a little teaser here. Will they focus? No. Well, a couple of tenth ounce. I got a... Uh, tenth ounce of the Philharmonic. Come on. Well, anyway, and this one just as cool as cool as cool can be. I got a tenth ounce Britannia. I'm gonna pick up a little little piece of okay, there we go. Pick up a little piece of gold here and there. Ah, oh, there you go. There's Britannia. Lovely. Lovely. So anyway, I'm going to do a little video on uh, some of the fractional gold that I've got and explain why I'm buying fractional and that sort of thing. And uh, we'll go from there. Anyway, that's uh, that's been my week. Um, I hope everybody... Uh, hope everybody's been safe. They're... Uh, they're buying the buying the drop. I think it's uh I think we're running out of time, folks. I've said it before. Be prepared. Not just with uh your sh shiny precious metals, but with your your heart and soul and uh food and water and things like that. Anyway, that's from me to you. This is Cranky. Been going on a little bit. I'm done. Y'all stay safe, shoot straight, and keep stacking. I'm out.